Chris Cutts, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you. Um, you're here today at the opening of our pharmacy suite, a brand new facility. Uh, you've had a little tour of it. What, what's your impressions of it? Um, it's fantastic. I, I think the first impression you get is the space um, in the large open area, which will be great for the students not only to interact, but equally their lecturers and, and, and professionals who are teaching them to not only engage with them on a one-to-one, -one, but equally engage in a group. I see, I think you can have up to 40, 45 students in here, or equally uh, have small groups of six, seven. I think the professional nature of it is really clear. Um, the links to the professional area right behind me here in terms of the counter, the consultation suites, the, the use of cameras, uh, the video screens, that whole professional element. And also hearing that the students have to dress professionally when they're in this environment. I think really will make an impact onto what being a real pharmacist is. So when they leave here in their four years and go out, it actually feels that they've come out with a professional, accurate, um, good clinical experience for being a great pharmacist. In your position as director of the CPPE, um, we're, the country is in a, a period of uh, austerity. Um, mm. What challenges does pharmacy face? I think like the whole country, and pharmacy particularly because the majority of it is publicly funded through the NHS services, um, it's an element of funding is lower than it used to be and that cash flow, that income is down. That's not doom and gloom. Um, this country spends £12 billion on medicines. Um, we've got a great supply of pharmacists and supported by pharmacy technicians. It's about doing your job to the best ability. It's about stepping forward and facing the challenges. So some people would say more for less, some people don't like that. I think it's probably doing things differently, maybe for the same. Um, it's actually recognising that the public expect a great service and the government expect its value for money. So while it can be feel like a bit of doom and gloom, less money, cutbacks, funding shortages, actually for the profession it's about stepping up now. Now is the time where we can take the clinical future, um, we can work within the primary care uh, healthcare team and do more within hospitals and it's about improving that patient experience with pharmacists. So actually delivering them the clinical services they need and uh, making sure they've got the right medicines at the right time and um, that we're accessible as health professionals as always have been and, and doing just things differently. So while austerity can feel as if it's a negative situation, actually it is a time of opportunity for the profession. And I would encourage all, uh, your students, uh, my, my professionals who work with me, the learners who work with CPPE, everybody to take that opportunity, because actually it could be once in a generation time at this stage. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.